So in Power World, there are 13 exclusive secret passives and skills. Now a couple of these you're not actually supposed to have access to, but in today's video I'll showcase how you can get all 13 of these passives and these secret skills so you can go ahead and breed them into your very own pals, creating some monsters. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and before we go any further I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice. To be with a chance of winning simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. With those notifications turned on, winners are picked and announced on Sunday evening, so good luck everybody. Okay, so I haven't actually seen another video or even a post covering all exclusive passives and skills for Power World. So I decided to bring you guys an all-in-one video guide on it. So let's get it, people. Let's start with the skills. So there are certain skills in this game which are exclusive to certain pals. Many of these you can't actually breed down, which is a pain. But there are a few pals which actually have these exclusive skills which you can pass down. Two of these we shouldn't have access to as of right now, and I can't guarantee they're always going to be available. So you want to do this while you can. And in this video guys I'll show you exactly how this is achieved. So firstly we'll start with the Megaton Implode. This is probably the most powerful attack in this game. That's because it also at the same time takes out the pal that uses it. Yes, it KOs the pal that uses this. Now this is a skill that's exclusive to Toko Toko. This isn't one of the ones you shouldn't have access to by the way. This is one that's actually quite easy to get. Simply go out guys and catch Toko Tokos, uh, level up to a level 23, upon you doing this you unlock this Megaton Implode skill. From this point guys, you actually can brew this into other powers and go on to create some crazy powers with crazy damage. I brewed this into a Goru Rat who takes it to a whole nother level of damage. But yeah, the Megaton Implode is a monster of a skill but again, is only found on Toko Toko at level 22 or 23. So if you want this, you want to breed this into other powers and experiment, you know what you got to do, people. Okay, so the following two skills are actually exclusive to tower bosses. There are no other ways in the game of getting these skills. And it's weird because without the glitch, without this trick I'll show you how to do, you wouldn't be able to get these skills, which is bizarre. Unless they're going to add them in a future update, which we do not know yet. But yeah, again, these two skills are exclusive to tower bosses. And they are Dark Wisp, which comes from Victor and Shadowbeak. And we have Multi Cutter, which is from Lily and Lilene. So how do you get these people? Well, firstly, you have to capture these tower bosses. So that means using a glitch. Again, this won't always be in the game. So use it while you can if you want these skills to pass on to your other pals. So to do this, guys, head to this small settlement you can see on screen now and pick a fight with these friendly NPCs. Once you do guys, you'll notice you'll get that wanted status on your screen, where NPCs will chase you and try and take you out. From here guys, you want to fast travel to said tower boss, either Vic and Shadowbeak or Lily and Lilene. Once you've fast traveled, you'll notice that the NPCs are still following you, they're still chasing you. So from here guys, you want to enter that tower boss fight. Here again, you will notice the NPCs follow you in to this tower fight, which is bizarre, but how to do it. Now from here guys, you don't want to attack either the boss or the NPCs. What you want to do is try to make them fight each other. So try and get in the way of each other's attacks, try and kite it onto the other enemy. And once they start fighting each other, the tower boss runs into the corner and bugs out. From here guys, you want to throw that sphere at the tower boss's back. Make sure you hit him in the back and you will 100% catch it. Now it doesn't matter what sphere you use either, so if you have legendaries and don't want to waste them, just use the standard blue ones, it doesn't matter people. So once you've caught the tower boss guys, it is yours and it acts like any other pal, besides having crazy health as well as the exclusive skill. Now you may have to equip this skill people, I mean I've had people hit me up about Shadowbeak saying I've caught the tower boss but you don't have the skill, you need to go into your party when it's inside of your party and you need to unequip the other skills and equip Dark Wisp, it will be there for you. Okay so when it comes to breeding these tower bosses it's actually very different to any online calculator and what it will tell you. They don't follow these usual calculators online and only one combination will work when you use it. Well, actually there's two combinations, but the combinations you see on these online calculators with, for instance, Lilene or Shadowbeak will not breed the same outcome. There's only two possible outcomes with these tower bosses when it comes to breeding. 
So how this works is if you breed Lily and Lilene with another Lilene, it guarantees you a Lilene baby. If you breed uh, Victor and Shadowbeak with another Shadowbeak, it guarantees you a Shadowbeak baby. But if you breed these tail bosses with any other pal guys, it always guarantees you a Chicopee. Which, I mean, isn't the worst because you can always pass on this skill down to that Chicopee and use Chicopee to breed it to other pals if you want to go it that way. You can. But me personally, I'd breed up another Shadow Beak and then breed Victor and Shadow Beak with my Shadow Beak over and over, which is actually what I've done to get the ultimate OP Shadow Beak. But just keep doing this until you get that Dark Whiff skill. And same goes with Lily and Lilene and another Lilene. Get yourself a Lilene, people. Probably make sure it's got the best passives on the game on it. If you want the ultimate Lilene, those passives for Lilene would be Spoo Emperor, which she normally comes with, uh, Musclehead Legend, and Ferocious. On Shadow Beak, it would be Lord of the Underworld, Legend, Musclehead, and Ferocious. But yeah, these are the best two variants of said powers, which I'd probably chase before breeding the tower bosses with them. But either or, guys, you can breed your tower boss with said power and keep that same power aside. And once you do have that OP power, that max build power, that best power version of the Lilian and Shadow Beak, and then breed that power you already made with Shadow Beak, with Lilian, to hopefully get a baby with all four passives and that exclusive tower boss skill so do what you gotta do here guys and again these skills are exclusive to tower bosses and when they do eventually fix that tower boss uh, catch glitch you probably won't be able to get these skills so do it while you can okay so let's move on to passives and there are 10 passives exclusive to powers in the game guys individual powers where these passives can't be found anywhere else so yeah, there are 10 passives, 9 times out of 10, they just add additional damage, one adds a bit more, uh, but let's get into them guys. First up, we have Legend. So this passive offers a 20% increase to attack, 20% increase to defense, and a 15% increase to movement speed. So this Legend passive is exclusive to Legendary powers found in the game. There's four of them. They are World Bosses, all come at a level 50. They are Jet Dragon, Cross Stallion, Palladius, and Necromus. When caught, they guarantee to have that Legend passive on them. But actually, it doesn't end there for Legendary Powers and their exclusive passives. Each of these four Legendary Powers has another passive on them, which is exclusive to said Legendary. So, Divine Dragon, this is exclusive to Jet Dragon. This gives you a 20% increase to dragon damage doubt. Pretty cool. We have Ice Emperor. This is on Frost Stallion only. This gives you a 20% increase to Frost Damage doubt. We then have Celestial Emperor. This is exclusive to Palladius. This will give you a 20% increase to neutral damage doubt. And then we have Lord of the Underworld. This is exclusive to Necromus. A 20% increase to dark damage doubt is what this passive does. So yeah. You want to get them, it's pretty hard, but if you want to pass them on to other powers of the same element to increase their damage, you got to do what you got to do, people. Okay, so next up we have Earth Emperor. This is a passive exclusive to the Anubis World boss, and this will give you a 20% increase to that ground damage doubt. We then have Spirit Emperor. This is exclusive to Lilene. Doesn't have to be a world boss, people, but uh, if you go out and catch a Lilene, find it here on the map, there's a chance it will come with Spirit Emperor. This will give you a 20% increase to grass damage doubt, guys. We then have Lord of Lightning. This is exclusive to Ozirk. Again, go out and capture Ozirk. Uh, there's a chance you will have this Lord of Lightning on, and this gives you a 20% increase to electric damage doubt. We then have Lord of the Sea. This is exclusive to the world boss of Germantide. So yeah, seen right here on the map once you catch this dude. I think this may be a guarantee. Every time I've caught this guy, he's had this on it. But Lord of the Sea will give you a 20% increase to that water damage doubt. So if you're breeding up water powers, this is a must for them. And lastly, guys, we have Flame Emperor. This is exclusive to Blazemot. You can find him right here on the map, guys. And this will give you a 20% increase to that fire damage doubt. Pretty cool. And there we have it guys, all exclusive passives and secret skills within PAL World. Do what you gotta do to get these guys and add them into your breeding catalogue. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more PAL World, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.